The Ford dealers of America, who sell and service Ford cars and Ford trucks, present Fur Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ali, and all the Kuklapolitan players, with Fran Allen. In Kukla, Fran, and Ali. home every evening and have dinner all cooked for you. household, Colonel Crackney is going to rule the roost, believe me. No more of these constant tours. I have to stay at home and be a housewife. Career and housework don't mix. Don't mix. Who has advantages? It has advantages, in fact, doesn't it? You bet it does, of course. I'm a little more convinced now. Easier. Easier to think of the advantages now. But there are times when those other thoughts creep in. Oh, uh, it's hard to have your wings clipped. Why, well, most of these, my child. Hello, Colonel Cranky. Well, my child, I haven't seen you since we got back from New York. I've been working. I've been working very hard in my homework, and I haven't been around here. Say, is it true when I hear? You mean about Madame Mugapus and myself? Mm-hmm. Yes, my dear. Madame Mugapus and I are engaged. To be married? To be married. How romantic. How did it ever happen? Why, well, it was just one of those things, I guess, my dear. Did it, did it, did it feel like an arrow had pierced your heart? Well, no, not exactly like that, Mercedes. Oh, Madame Hooker, of course, and I have been around a few more years than you, and it's a little more difficult for arrows to pierce hearts when you've been around a little more. But we, uh, you know, we are very good friends, and... How, how in the world did she trick you into it? My dear little girl, I don't care to hear any of that talk anymore. She did not trick me into it. I'm a strong-minded individual. I have... Lots of pride and vanity, and I pride myself on being the masterful type fellow. And I, uh, I decided uh, it was high time that I settled down, that I had a lovely companion by my side through the later years of my life, and so I asked her. Well, how did she fit you into it? <laughs> Most of these, my child, let's not be obstreperous. Now, just behave yourself. It's going to be a very lovely thing, and if you're a good little girl, 
You can, can, can be the flower girl or the ring bearer. I don't want to be either one. What do you mean? I want to be a bride. <laughs> All in good time, my dear. All in good time. Wait till you graduate from the fifth grade. <laughs> What's the matter, child? I thought maybe, I thought maybe she would tell me how it was done. Now, my child, there was no trick to it. I merely went up to her and I said that I would like to be engaged, and that was it. Francis, my dear, yes. I'm having a little trouble. Would you, uh, would you mind speaking to Mercedes? Oh, uh, not at all. How are you, Mercedes? Oh, Francis. As a matter of fact, how are you? Well, I'm fine, my dear. Everything's just fine, and just grand. I haven't seen you in about three, four days. Well, I know, my dear. I've been, uh, well, I've been, uh, buying my fruit, though. Have you now? What are you wearing? Ah, uh, well, I, uh, uh, it's gonna be awful nice to have my laundry put away. It's gonna be awful nice to have my dinner ready for me. I just, uh, the little statements I'm making, uh, talking to myself about, you'll excuse me, won't you? Oh, yes, my dear. I didn't know you had any trouble with your laundry. No, I don't. That's the point, but I, I might have. I see. Well, well I'm so happy. You had trouble with your meals, did you? You always had dinner on time. Well, I don't know. I did always have dinner time, but it's going to be nice to have someone thank you for me. And I, you never have cooked, have you? Well, I know. I never have cooked. Oh, no, that's true. But it'll be nice to have some someone cook for me. It's, it's very nice. I, I... You're just whistling in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> this child knows much too much. My dear... Martha Bean is a very bright little girl. Yeah, she's much too bright. I'm just asking for some advice. I know very well if somehow Madame Ogilvy's tricked him into it. I wanted to know how. Well, uh, you didn't talk about this. Do we turn him off? No, we don't, my dear. How's your thimble? Mine, I had it. Mm. Well, that's just a little joke between us two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just us chickens. <laughs> well, Mercy, what's what, you and your kids? What's hmm? with the thimble? I don't know, dear. <laughs> little private <laughs> joke, local joke. Linwood hasn't been around lately. Linwood's been here every day. Has he, Well, Linwood. He had a meeting of the young folks. He didn't come over? No, he didn't. He said he was directing some show, and I don't believe Well, not, oh, no, no, Mr. Linwood. Uh, Linwood is a very ambitious young man, and he's trying <laughs> to learn all he can about television, and Somebody just says uh, show to him. He's up and gone like a mountain goat, and you just can't help him. That's all. He's so anxious to get ahead in his chosen profession, and I rather admire him. I suppose it's nice. Why, sure, you'd want him to be a very successful young man, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. Rich. Well, only way you get that way is getting around, nice being boy. where the business is. Oh, and it's just a shame. I was studying so hard last week, and everything. Well, that's all right, too, Mercedes. I think the harder you study, the more attractive you'll be to Linda. He likes girls with brains. Mm -hmm. I'll work you hard. Well, you just do that. See? Are you sure it's the girl trying to just up and, and ask Madame Oakwood to marry you? Actually, Mercedes, I don't know. You're hiding something. No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> My feminine intuition, I know you're hiding something from me. No, I'm really... Hello, kids! Hi! Hello, oh, dear! How are you? Nice to see you. Who is it? Oh, mercy! Come help! <laughs> hey! Got such a big bang out of that story you told me about the symbol yesterday. Really? What a... How in the world did... You know, did he walk into that one with his eyes wide open? Hmm. Total Froggy, dear, of course! Oh, wow! When you told me that story, I... Hmm? <laughs> hey? Little pictures have big ears. What? Oh, Sam and Sam. Oh! Is Sam around? Come on, back here, huh? Oh, come on, here. And Viola, tell me about it. Mercy, don't you think that you really should go and see your thing? The smarter you are, the better he'll like you. Right. I'll let you invite him over to I'd rather find out this uh, about, about the symbol. Come on, tell me. Oh, it's a whole oh, family cut. Oh, family cut. Yeah. Here, go do your homework, dear. Come on, go oh, do your homework. Number. Give 
point. Yes, he did. Be. I hope the Colonel Pat though. No. Well, I think he is. Mad. He thought it was going to be a ring. All he intended was to give her a gold. <laughs> wow, we. Well, it worked. Yes. I did not die. 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 I did not die.
also 10,000 precision built parts. Such a console. He did. Every single one. Oh, you see, this one of his parts. There's nothing I like better than the No. I like the Then, well, um, let's see. Let's see. Automatic. Well, you know how I am. It's simple. Well, it's simple. It's automatic light control. It's a, well, see, it, it includes an advanced hydrocoil trunk spring and new variable rate rear spring. Oh, well, now I have to see. Well, that's you can get it. Well, that's that, that, that automatic. But the spring system is automatic because it's just the spring reaction to different road conditions. If the road is rough, it adjusts itself. That's right, that's right. Woo! And then, well, let's take my life. Woo! 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 Yeah, that's a special bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be fighting. It'll be wonderful. <sighs> the winter's gonna last much longer. We might as well have nice interesting little things to do because we've got to stay indoors. How to raise earthworms. That's for you. Not for me. Yes, friend. No. One thing is very profitable. Three days. You're really delighted. Very good. That's fine. Can I take these back? Thanks. But you have to pay a price for it. I do. Yeah, you have to pay a forfeit. If I gave you all those, you have to pay mm -hmm. What do I do? Yes. If anybody got if anybody is, you are. If anybody thrills me through and through. If anybody's lovely, sure is me. If anybody's lovely, sure 
We were here with the music. Oh, well, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't he thinks we didn't hear. He has no idea. Oh, he's real happy. I hope she will. What do you think? Oh, I thought maybe if you didn't have anything to do, we could maybe uh, take a little ride, maybe, and come back in front of the fire, and maybe we could read over our uh, little, uh, little pamphlet. Yes, I can hardly wait to get to that earth room. That's what I thought. Oh, there's some other wonderful ones, too, that you're going to enjoy so much. And, uh, that's the cool. The great horse is right in my own home. Yeah. May I go? Oh, you bet. Mm -hmm. Well, just, may I say one thing? When you buy for the future, buy for it. Here is a car that combines long life economy with lasting luxury and driving ease. It's the 1951 Ford with 43 new look ahead features. Test drive the 1951 Ford. You'll agree, you can pay more, but you can't buy better. The musical director of Kukla Fran and Ollie is Jack Fashionato. The producer is Eula Zachary, the director Louis Garmovich, and the costume designer Joseph Lockwood. This is Bert Tilson, thanking you on behalf of Mercedes and all the Cucopolitan players. <laughs> Remember to visit your friendly Ford dealer. We think you'll agree with him. You can pay more, but you can't buy better. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago, 